Have you ever shot a bow and arrow? It's pretty hard, isn't it? Not a compound bow, but a legit longbow or recurve bow with a 60 pound draw. The bow has been misconstrued by modern media, video games, and literature. Other than a few instances, well, you know what? Let's get into it. Roll the intro. Our arrows will blot out the sun. One of the most revolutionary weapons to ever be created was the crossbow. Most people fall under the false assumption that crossbows were a medieval invention. Well, surprisingly, they're wrong. The earliest crossbows humanity saw were in the 6th century BC, made by the ancient Chinese. Before we get too deep into why crossbows are so important, we first have to discuss the bow and arrow. Archers in pop culture, in video games, or in general, were always perpetuated as, well, wusses. Less of a man, not really contributing much to the battlefield, that is a very, very wrong assumption to make. The standard archer was usually the highest trained unit on the battlefield, surprisingly. To use a bow and arrow properly, one had to be skilled in its use. This isn't a skill a person develops overnight. Many months went into the proper training of an archer, sometimes years. Archers also had to have the strength of a bodybuilder to even be able to handle the weapon. So this fallacy that archers were weak and vulnerable is just flat out wrong. They are usually well protected, well trained, expensive, and strong as an ox. Archers armed with a standard bow or the recurve bow could dictate the direction of battle from a distance. They could harass enemies and put a major dent into their morale. The downfall of the archer though was something we just talked about. The training and skill required for them to be an effective combatant in the field of battle. Replenishing the ranks of archers wasn't something that just happened overnight and it would actually slow the advancement of armies if none were available or they just have to continue on without archer support. Well that's where the crossbow changes the dynamic. I'm sure you all know what a crossbow looks like but what it did for militaries around the world was a game changer. No longer did you have to stick a needle in your butt every day and drink 15 raw eggs. No longer did you have to get up every day for archery school. O honestly though, the crossbow took basically no training. The user didn't have to be that strong, and, and granted, it might have been more expensive to produce, but it more than paid for itself with lower upkeep costs and lower training costs, and a lot faster turnout rate. All the users had to do was point and shoot. China just didn't invent the first crossbow, they revolutionized it. The first crossbows were very crude and prone to failure. Many misfires, poor range and accuracy, and personal injury. But as they learned from their mistakes, the weapon was refined. It became more ergonomical and easier to use. Han Dynasty writings from the 2nd century BC attribute the success of many battles to the mass use of crossbow valleys, raining death from the sky with precision shots. Crossbows were put into mass production and became a staple in the ancient Chinese war machine. As the crossbow technology progressed, they even designed a crossbow that could load a cartridge sort of like a modern day rifle magazine to allow a higher rate of fire. The crossbow was also the inspiration for the ballista, which was a massive version that fired projectiles the size of spears, able to impel multiple men at once with a very, very long range. China wasn't the only ancient people to incorporate the use of crossbows. Surprisingly, the ancient Greeks also had crossbows at their disposal. Theirs was a larger version that gave the users longer range and power. The crossbow was powered by a composite bow. It was cocked by resting the stomach in a concavity in the rear of the stock and pressing down with all their strength. This way, more energy could be stored in the powerful bow than by using one of the regular one-armed standard bows. There are some cases in ancient writings of Romans using a mechanical device fired from horseback, but there aren't many facts or evidence on this subject, so we really can't give you much information on it. In the Middle Ages, though, crossbows were used widely. It was actually the go-to weapon for insurgent peasants due to the ease of use and the ability to penetrate armor. Crossbows in the Middle Ages were one of the few long-range weapons that actually posed a threat to mounted knights. Formations of pikemen were fused with crossbowmen due to the ability of crossbow bolts to actually penetrate armor. A cavalry charge at a formation of pikes with crossbows would be devastating to the cavalry. Even mounted troops were armed with crossbows harassing enemy lines with fire. It wasn't until the invention of firearms that the crossbow was actually replaced. Even early firearms were actually outperformed by crossbows. They were faster to load and, a lot of times, more accurate. But, as technology for firearms moved ahead though, the crossbow was slowly phased out. While the crossbow was still a powerful weapon, the massive amount of kinetic energy stored in the small shot fired from a firearm was just devastating. A projectile weapon created in the 5th century BC survived the test of time. Crossbows are still in use today in sport and hunting competitions. It is astounding to think that a weapon from the age of myth and legend survives and is still in use to this day. 
What do you guys think of this amazing invention? Have you ever even shot one? Let us know in the comments below. Also, leave a comment on a piece of technology you'd like us to go in depth on in a future video. Don't forget to subscribe and share the video if you enjoyed it. Check out these other videos if you enjoy learning about the history of humanity. We'll see you guys in the next one.